If you've driven past the GM plant in Lordstown lately, you might have seen hundreds of cars waiting in lots for shipment. Yeah, the plan there calls for making sure those cars meet strict quality standards before they go to the dealers. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us how the automaker will do that in tonight's top story. As production of the Chevy Cruze in Lordstown tries to meet demand around the country, workers know the goal is 1,260 of these vehicles each day. We're close. We're meeting that demand. We're, we're getting each day. We're getting better and uh, we're getting closer to that that run number. But is there work to be done? Yes. Bob Morales, president of Local 1714, which covers about 1,400 union auto workers at the Lordstown Fab Plant, tells me there have been some growing pains since production of the new generation crews began late last winter, while workers and managers here pushed to meet Detroit's expectations. The GMS is Global Manufacturing System, and that's something that's required uh, throughout the corporation. Each step in the building of these cars is known as a process, and when there are problems, it can affect production. Well, we had some issues with the processes, but we need, we're identifying those issues, and that's what GMS is about, identifying those issues and trying to overcome those issues so we could run at a, at a, at a proper pace. Until Lordstown reaches that point, the automaker plans to start building what's being called a limited number of cruises for the North American market at its plant in Ramos Arispe, Mexico, starting sometime next month. Morales describes the extra production as a chance for a relaunch of sorts. Get caught up on some of our GMS uh, processes and, and get better as a, uh, as, as a plant. Union leaders and officials with General Motors insist there are no plans to cut back on production here. What Morales says both sides are working on is improving the plant's built-in quality factor. The highest level for that is four. Lordstown is now a three. The plan is to, like I said, be, be, be BIQ4 certified. Morales says at that point, Lordstown won't need the assistance from Mexico. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.